This is Twit. So Linux is, is a kernel. I mean, Linux is, is a lot of things, but ultimately Linux is, is the kernel. Uh, FreeBSD is an entire operating system. So, I mean, there, there's some difference there. And, and I realize that your answer to the question I'll ask kind of will, will hinge on that, that difference. But uh, when it comes to Linux, I mean, you know, Linus is the guy who decides, you know, he's like the, the person who says, yes, that's going into the kernel. No, it's not going into the kernel. Um, you said there's not necessarily a, a tech advisory board for FreeBSD. W what I'm curious about is who does make those decisions about what becomes a part of FreeBSD, I can just see a lot of contention, and, and hopefully there's not. I mean, you know, people you know get along open source software uh, that would be that would be awesome. But I just see a lot of contention, especially if there are the companies who partic you know they they really want a thing. Um, I you, know, you said like, well, we don't necessarily do just what the companies want, but uh, you know, if one of those companies happens to be a big donator, that's a scary thing to say. No, um, who who does ultimately make those decisions? And and I realize the foundation and the and the project are, are different as well. So maybe those layers help alleviate some of those those areas of contention. But how does that work exactly? So the structure of the project is um, is pretty flat. So you have you do have a core team that is like the board of directors of the project. They're or like the upper management. And they do help influence and guide the project. And we work, we try to work <clears throat> closely with the core team. We do have overlap with some of my team members are also on the core team. And so we, we take input from large corporations or corporations using FreeBSD. Uh, we take input from users out there and uh, we and we use that to inform what we should be doing, and um, and the core team is is really that guiding force of the leadership of the project. You don't have a benevolent dictator like uh, the Linux project, and um, anyone can contribute to the project. We don't have the whole lieutenant hierarchy. But it doesn't mean that the standards are any less. And the code gets submitted and it's reviewed and um, it's committed. It could be reverted to. So, um, so the difference is, is that you just have more people who can step in and help review changes and help decide if you know, this should stay or, or, or be committed to the code base. Uh, one thing actually, you know, sort of sidestep this here. I remember talking to someone, uh, actually Linus is a really good friend and big time Linux supporter. And he and I were having coffee and this was a few years ago. And he goes, you know, if I were to join open if I was new and I were to join an open source project, I would I would join FreeBSD or contribute to FreeBSD. And um, and I was like, well, why? <laughs> Because <laughs> I thought I was so surprised to hear this from him. And, and he said, well, because it's so much easier to, you know, to uh, contribute to the project. You, you may wait months to get anything accepted in Linux because that whole hierarchy structure. And that's when I really understood what, um, you know, that the difference is there. And, and like I was saying, it doesn't, mean the standards or the quality, you know, or any less. It's just, it's just different. And so, uh, so that's one thing about like, if folks are looking at contributing to an open source project, FreeBSD is nice because it is easier to uh, contribute and to make a, <laughs> uh -oh, a notable difference. Hold on. <laughs> be, Normal things happen. I'm, I'm not it's really okay. I'm not <laughs> loving these earpods. <laughs> so funny. So um, um so and and one other thing to note too is that if there is anything like a technical dispute that came within the project, then the core team, like I was talking about, they would uh, be the arbitrator for that. And, and the core team is made up of nine folks that are elected 
by the um, the committers of the project. And um, and so an election happens every two years. And actually, elections will come up uh, the summer. It probably starts in May. I don't know the dates of it, but um, but that's how. Yeah, I I know that these look really funny, but <laughs> I don't wear them right. 